Coming up on today's Three Grand Weddings. Ooh. I need a herd of cows to lasso. <laughs> do you think she could do anything Kevin would like this? I'm Lucy Elliott, founder of thechiefbridesmaid.co.uk and an expert in budget weddings. Did you know that the average wedding these days costs a whopping £21,000? That to me seems like an awful lot of money and so in this brand new series I'm going to show you how to do it on a lot, lot less. Welcome to Three Grand Weddings. our wedding teams have made some great choices but that won't mean a thing if the couples can't actually get to the wedding day so this week we're looking at transport my first tip is to beg borrow and steal all right maybe not the steal part people who have nice cars tend to have them because they love to show them off this is the perfect time to ask a friend or family member if they'd be happy to show for you to the wedding ceremony or reception this is actually an enormously flattering thing to be asked, so you shouldn't feel too shy about it. Go for the untraditional. Think beyond the classic Rolls Royce and you could save yourself some money. Or get a higher car. You can get a lovely car like this Swish Mercedes and it will be a lot cheaper than going to a classic wedding car company. Why not tie a white ribbon onto the front of the car to give it that wedding feel? So those are my tips. I wonder if any of the wedding teams have been listening. Last time, our teams posed their way through the hunt for a wedding photographer. Our Surrey team got the best deal of the bunch when they found not only a photographer willing to work for free, but also a pair of videographers too. I don't think any moment of their wedding will be missed now. This time, Katie's mum and dad, Phil and Jill, Jeff's mum, Anita, Katie's auntie, Carol, and Jeff's best friend, Roger, along with wedding planner, Emily Ianu, begin the hunt to find the perfect way to get the couple to the church. But will their ideas match with what Katie and Jeff want? Ideal would be the whole Cinderella, blue skies with your, you know, horse and carriage, <laughs> you know. Um, but, you know, now's not the season for pumpkins. <laughs> um, I doubt that will happen. <laughs> Probably just, I mean, to be honest, I'm not really that worried. I'd, I'd drive myself there in my little zippy. Hi, wedding team, how are you doing? Okay. Well, this week we're going to be talking about transport. Ordinarily, if I was having a budget wedding, mm. I'd suggest not spending money on a car. I would say, have if you've got a, a friend or a, someone in your family has a nice car, just borrow that and put a white ribbon on it. Mm. Anita, what sort of car do you think Jeff would like on his wedding day? Well, I think he'd be too fussy, really. No, your husband's actually a milkman, isn't he? Yeah. So maybe a milk float might be a fun idea. Yeah, he yes. broke down this morning, so oh, I don't think that. <laughs> 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 what about Katie? She was tinkering with the ideas of horses and carts and American cars, but they're usually sort of too expensive. So what's the budget that we have for the transport? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> However... <laughs> Good. <laughs> I've been looking around and I've got a couple of options for you. The first option is actually a friend of mine and he's got a fabulous American car. Because he hasn't done a wedding, he's quite happy to do it for nothing. Um, wow. so, wow. Mm, so that fits the budget. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> the second option, the lady that we used that helped us find the band, her husband has actually just bought one of these cars. Um, he's getting it resprayed, so this isn't the actual car, but this is the same make and model, and this is what it will look like in a couple of weeks' time. So I was thinking, you know, use the American car for Katie and Jeff, perhaps use this for the bridesmaids. But again, this car, we're getting for nothing. Because, Why is that? Well, she's just bought the car and she hasn't done a wedding. So for them, it's the experience as well. Mm. Well, let's have a look at the options in the flesh, shall we? Yes. 
In Oxfordshire, our team were very busy, meeting photographers and even trying out a bit of modelling. In the end, they chose a photographer looking to boost his portfolio, so agreed to do the wedding for free. This time, Martin's mum Sue and wedding planner Sandy Moretta have a very busy time ahead of them. But do Martin and Jay have any ideas of their own? Friends of the family um, have got flash cars, haven't they? And cars, and we've got horses, yeah, so whatever so option they sort of yeah. maybe go with. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice Most bike people, in the garage. Yeah, <laughs> it's got flat tyres. So. <laughs> but are we talking about the motorbike? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Sue. Hi Sandy. How are you doing? Hi, right, thank, thank you. you. Very well, thank good, you. Good. So it's four weeks till the big day. Yes, I know. How are Martin and Jay feeling? Very relaxed about it. Are yes, they? Yes. No pre-wedding jitters. I hope not. No. <laughs> so tell me what you've got organised for today. What we want to talk about today is sort of transport for Martine to get to Lanes Bar. Right. Um, obviously then for Jay to get to Lane's Barn. A wet weather plan, because as you know, we do want to involve the horse, as I think we have mentioned throughout. One thing that we have actually dismissed is the idea of hiring a car. It can be very expensive. Yeah, and I think it's a bit of an unnecessary expense, Absolutely. really, because no one sees the car, That's really. That's right. So what we're going to do today is go and meet the horses, because we've also talked about possibly Jay being involved horse-wise as well. Then we are going to go and meet with its Giles, isn't it, um, to look at tractors. We're then going to go and have a look at some tandems. <laughs> because, you know, as per the song, a bicycle made for two. <laughs> I don't think we would have Martine struggling along from here <laughs> to Lane's Bar, but we were thinking possibly something for the boys yeah. who've only got to get from um, the house in Grove down to Lane's Bar. And then we're going to come back here and have a look at motorbikes. Yes. And also the Land Rover, which will pretty much be our wet weather option, I right. think. And the horse box as well. While we're and there. the horse box, yes. that's right, <laughs> yes. How much money have you put aside in terms of budget? Right, at the moment we don't have anything in the budget. OK. So it could be that we take a little out of flowers okay. or a little out of whatever. Well done, ladies. I think you've got heaps of options there and I think it's going to be a really fun day. Finally, in London, Opermi and Uche had a tough decision to make between going with a friend of the couple, Jude, or a freelance photographer. In the end, they decided they didn't want to put pressure on Jude and went with the freelancer. This time, the team are hunting for transport. Will they be able to match Chickadilly and Nkem's ideas? We could use a friend's car. We could also walk to the reception if it's close by. I quite like the idea of walking, singing and walking, having people go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it'll be nice. Well, I mean, oh, you know, just just something something nice and classy. Um, you know, so, so something inventive, which I think the rickshaw is. Rickshaw. You know, so I if like we had like an ordinary car, we might, I don't know, paint it in certain colours or have something draped over it. You know, just something to make it look interesting. So the London wedding team this time is Enkem and Chickadilly's friend Opermi, Enkem's cousin Uche and wedding planner Becky Gregory. But first, Becky wants to show me something she's just found. Hello. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good. So we've got a good week this week because it's transport, yes, isn't it? It's really exciting. Um, we're going to see a company called Wedding Taxi shortly, but I just uh -huh. wanted to show you something quickly first. OK. Um, a recent discovery, a company called Bug Bugs. They have a lot of um, rickshaws around London, lots of different colours, shapes and sizes. So it would be quite um, exciting to try out for the wedding. Brilliant. And then we'll go and meet the wedding team afterwards. Yes. Fantastic. OK. okay. Coming up after the break, we get our motors running as we begin the hunt to find the perfect wedding transport. We've been given the green light to begin the search for the perfect wedding transport. And we begin in London, where wedding planner Becky Gregory has found an amazing alternative to traditional methods of getting the bride to the church. Wow. <laughs> so, Freddie, thanks for showing us um, your bug bugs. Um, what, which um, varieties would be on offer for the actual wedding? So we've got two standard models. Right. Uh, the yellow one, uh, ah. bug MS, and a uh, bug VC. This one looks a bit like a black cab, doesn't it? Yes. We've got two special bikes. Um, this is one of them. This is a bug VC. That as does well. look very special, actually. Yeah, yeah I love the uh... fruit. <laughs> And perfect for, for our wedding theme. Yeah, there's only one actually in the UK, uh, actually probably in the world, so uh, it, that's, it's a very rare beast. And then we also have uh, a bug MX. The luxury that's version. That's cool yes. as well though, isn't it? I like the tassels. Should we have a little sit down? Absolutely. Test it for comfort, Rebecca. Yeah. Okay, mind your head on the way in. So now it's fortunate she doesn't have a huge dress, so it's not likely yeah. to get 
too much in the way. Ooh. Hmm. It does feel quite like a deck chair, actually. So I know this one is one of your favourites. Mm. How about from the other three? Do you like any of those? I really like the orange one, actually, so I think Me we should too. give that a try. <laughs> oh, I could get used to this. <laughs> Being chauffeured around yeah. on a bright orange Ooh, bug bug. Oh, this is more comfortable, actually. Oh, it is, isn't it? You mentioned um, decorations, Freddie. W would there be any more decoration on this if we use this one for the actual wedding? Yes, we can normally add streamers, balloons, and basically just wrap that around the poles, uh, part of the bike. So it actually looks a lot more fairy tale. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So obviously you're in a uh, boiler suit today, but is this what we might expect the rickshaw driver to be wearing on the day? We normally get our riders uh, either to wear what's supplied by the client, so uh, we've had uh, top hat and tails, um, or we request that the rider would wear black cycling shorts um, along with... Uh, could they wear a white shirt? They can wear white shirts, yeah. So then we could provide them perhaps with an orange tie or something to match yeah. the colour yeah. of the rickshaw and the colour of the wedding. Yeah, something to tie together, yeah. certainly. Yeah. OK. We'd love to have a ride if that's OK. Yeah, ladies, no problem. Excellent. Of course. <laughs> Freddie, um, you quoted us £160. Yes, it, correct. The, uh, yeah. Wedding day. Yep. Well, I've certainly had a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. Can we go again? <laughs> take you back. All right. <laughs> I love the idea of having a rickshaw for your wedding and the fruit decorations fit perfectly with the rest of the wedding theme. So from one wacky idea to another as we join the Oxfordshire team down on the farm. So I can see I wore exactly the right sorts of shoes for coming to the stables. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the name of the horse that we're meeting today? This is my horse. Her name's Delhi Progress. Delhi Progress. Yes, quite an unusual name. She <laughs> comes from a farm down in Cornwall called Delaval Farm. I presume she's probably called Progress because at six weeks old she lost her mother she's gorgeous isn't she so initially the idea was to put a western saddle on yeah. her what is a western saddle a cowboy saddle <laughs> wow look at that one Western saddle. Is it as easy to ride as a normal saddle? Yeah, very similar. I mean, we're not really seeing progress as transport per se. Right. She's not going to ride from here, for example, with mm. Martine on her, or indeed from the house in Grove with, with Jay on her. That said, we do feel that Martine would love her as a part of the wedding. Oh. Yeah. I want to get married again now. <laughs> <laughs> Need a herd of cows to last soon. <laughs> yeah. So that's Jay's saddle. How about Martine? We have a side saddle for her. Right. So, of course, the ladies, when they used to ride side saddle, always rode in a dress. So hopefully we can incorporate that with her wedding dress. If you remember when we were looking at dresses, um, we were talking about it needing to be quite a full skirt. Mm, mm. Well, this was why, of course. <laughs> and you've got her, that excellent hat with a little oh, veil fabulous, as well. Oh, fabulous, yes. Which is going to yeah. look really It's going to look lovely. OK, and this is the side saddle. Do you want to wow. feel the weight of it? Whoa, that's not a normal saddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we joined the Side Saddle Association because um, Martine started taking it up. We have such a big expanse here, we have what's called a balance strap, mm. which holds the saddle firmly over. Again, because most of the person's weight and the legs are over that side. Mm. You have one leg sitting under here, and then the other leg sits around here. And we normally put this on here because after a lot of riding, she used to chafe the inside of her legs. Bend up this leg here, and then you go astride. OK, and you come forward onto the saddle, okay. and then this leg comes over. Do you think this way is how Martin would like to arrive at the wedding? I think this would be exactly what she'd like, yes. Horseback, what an elegant way to arrive at a wedding. And Sue's even got the horse box to go with it. I love it. It looks like an amazing trailer from the front, Winnebago style. Oh! This thing is enormous, isn't it? Could you fit two horses in here if you yes. wanted to? So this is another option. It is, yes. We can either... We can take any, quite a few people in here. How would you intend to use it? Well, I mean, if we weren't using the horses and we weren't using the tractor, we could use this instead of a car. Yeah, it could be your wet weather option, couldn't it? Could be, yes. 
Well, I would feel like an absolute film star travelling to my wedding in this. I've got to say, it's like a limo. There are sofas, TV. And we could decorate it. Yes, oh, and, and yes. it is already the wedding yes, colour. Yes. <laughs> There's a fridge, you can put champagne in the yes. fridge. I think it's absolutely fabulous. I think the horse and box would make a great way for Martine to arrive. But while we're still on the farm, Sue has come up with another idea. Wow, Giles, what an enormous tractor. Well, it's the biggest and shiniest one we've got. Is it? <laughs> wow. So, the idea with this was... <laughs> Presumably to take Jay and Simon to the wedding. Would we be able to decorate it up, say, to make it yeah. look, look a bit more wedding? We have done one wedding before and we have put ribbons all over it and bits and pieces and it looked, looked quite the part, really. And actually, it's the goldy colour. If we put red with yes. it, it's, mm. it is the colours of the, of the wedding. It totally goes with the style of this wedding, yeah. the fact that it's a barn. I think it's fabulous. Very it is rural. every boy's dream, isn't it? So I'm sure loads of the guests would love exactly. to have a game. Always good to wear stilettos when you're going on a tractor. Always, yeah. <laughs> You've got to look stylish, Giles. Got to look fair. I've never had a client turn up in a tractor before. <laughs> See you later, ladies! <laughs> <laughs> well, I can just see that, turning up in that lovely little manicured residential area in Grove. Well, I feel very regal sitting up here because we're so high above everyone else. I think Jay would feel very special arriving at his wedding day. It's quite unique, by isn't tractor. it? Yeah. <laughs> say that was a lot of fun but I'm not sure it's the classiest option for your wedding day. Well from two very big sets of wheels to four as our Surrey team have found a fantastic option. Well I've got a bit of a surprise for you. Um, I know how Phil wanted a big American car for the transport for Katie and Jeff and I've actually got a friend who has one. It's, uh, it's a 1955 uh, Chevrolet Bel Air mm -hmm. uh, convertible. It's the only one of its kind in England. So it's a real star of a car? It is, it is. It's actually, um, I haven't been using it for weddings as such. This is all Emily's idea. Mm. Um, em <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is sort of a... A dry run to me, so... <laughs> My daughter loves American cars. Does she? Oh, so you Fantastic. think she'll really like this? I do, I think she'll really like it. Anita, what do you think Jeff would think? Yeah, I think he'd love it. Well, there it is. 1955 Chevrolet. Um, thank you. It's so shiny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we hope this won't be necessary on the day, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see it with the hood up as well, just in case. There you are. Jill, you look so happy, you look almost in tears. I definitely don't feel negative about this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you so happy all series. Oh. So... Would it be possible for Jill to have a quick spin in the car? Absolutely, that's what it's for. That's oh. what it does best. Come on! She's quite good with an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> not driving. <laughs> 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 So, ladies, you think Katie will like this car? I think she'll absolutely love it. Yes, I think she'll be very happy. Yeah, I think it'll make her die. Yep. She'll be like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope this car makes her day. It will. I think it's one very good choice for us. 
Yeah. This will be like her dream car that she isn't expecting. <laughs> yeah. I think she'll be surprised. Yeah, very okay. surprised. <laughs> so guys, is that the ride of your life? Absolutely. <laughs> it was great it was. fun, but there wasn't enough people to wave at us. We the one drawback, <laughs> not enough people to show off in yes, front of. And it's because it's raining, but other than that. <laughs> so that leaves one remaining question. Is this the wedding car for Katie and Jeff? Absolutely. I think everybody agrees it's yes, the wedding it's car. it's a beautiful it's car. It's beautiful and she'll love it. Yeah, she will. And she'll feel like a princess. After the break, our teams continue their hunt. We've got four wheels, we've got two wheels, and we've even got three wheels. break our teams looked at a wealth of different transport ideas from rickshaws to tractors and horses to Cadillacs. Now back in London the wedding team are looking at something a bit more traditional. I really like it. This well, one's a convertible. Yeah, so the roof here comes off, which would be a lot of fun. Hopefully you'll be sunny. Yeah. <laughs> of course it will be. <laughs> so I guess if you wanted a more traditional London taxi. No, I think that. That is more special. I mean, just even just looking at the back. It even says wed on the number plate. And what would be the cost for the wedding team to have this for the wedding? We would let that go out for 220, which is only for up to two hours higher. Is it possible to have a ride in it? Yeah, that's no problem at all. Thank you. <laughs> It's lovely actually with the roof off. Yes, it is. Even though it's a little bit chilly today, I'm sure and convinced that on September the 19th. It's going to be a scorcher. It will <laughs> yeah, be. Yeah. It better be. Do you think Chicken and then Ken would like this? Yes. I can see, I can see them like this. Definitely it. works. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? I can get used to this. And with the flowers as well, really oh, yeah. makes it. And also on the day, it would even ha it would have even more decorations. It would have ribbon and bow, Aww. and a small posy on the front. Wonderful. So from four wheels to two, as we head over to Oxfordshire, where Sue is meeting an old friend with some novel ideas on transport. Hey, Sue, I went in. I bought our team ready to see your bikes. Oh great! <laughs> I've got them outside ready for you. Well, I thought this one, Sue, um, it's called a tripler. I thought it'd be super for a chauffeur in the front and then the best man and um, yeah. the groom. That's so, yes, yes, I think that'd be really fun. You can't go around corners very easily. <laughs> so, um, I love the way the person on the back has the bell, not the, the other two people. They the don't back. get the break. Right. So I think the bell is as much for them to say, help, this is terrifying, uh, yeah. rather than <laughs> get out of the way, person. So, um, no, the back is not the best place to be, so I don't know who you'd want to put there. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> when they get there, won't they? Does Sue actually want Martine to marry Jay, I'm wondering, if she's giving him <laughs> this to write yeah, to the option, isn't <laughs> You might want to do training before it as well. Right, this is this is the lady back tandem that I thought would be great for two people. It's a bit more elegant, isn't no, it? No. So the lady goes on the back. Mm. Yes, and the man goes on the front and does the um, steering, which is the best bit. <laughs> man in charge. How do you think Martine would like balancing in her wedding dress on the back of that? <laughs> One, two, three, go! go. Wow, they're motoring along. Perfect. I hope you're not expecting a sophisticated wedding in this <laughs> As we come to a grinding halt, perfectly safe. Ride, 
looking fabulous. Arriving. I understand there is one third option as well. Ah, yes. That was sort of for Martine by herself. And yes, do you want to have a look at that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, why this, not? This is called a recumbent. It's wondering how not to get the wedding dress um, yeah, in the wheels, yes. really, as much as anything, <laughs> isn't it? But on the other hand, it's very comfy. And again, we can have a little bike rack on the back so she can have oh, her flowers nice. there or something and a makeup in, in panniers if she wants, <laughs> you know. So just She'll a quick... have a different coloured flag or a little <laughs> that, white one. That's right. And a little mirror so she can just make sure really that she can, she's got a lipstick perfect. In colour as well. Oh, yeah, the colour. Sandy, is this every wedding planner's nightmare? A bride who wants to come in a recumbent? I, I don't know that I've got a bride who wants to come in. <laughs> Poor girl doesn't know what she's going to um, It certainly left me speechless. I've not <laughs> seen one before. I've well, certainly not used one for a wedding. You can demo it if you want. <laughs> So you've got steering, brake, pedals. <laughs> Easy! Goodbye! Get her to the church on time. I turn around there because it'll be hard later. Well, this isn't impressive, is it? Extra points for wedding planners who turn up at the wedding in recumbent. Smile, remember you're enjoying it. <laughs> I've got to say that looked like a lot of fun, but I can't imagine Martine riding one of those in her wedding dress. But ultimately, it's not my decision, it's the wedding teams. So what will Sue go for? Ladies, I'm afraid it's decision time. We've seen some really great options today and I've been amazed by your creativity. <laughs> Let's talk about the first thing we saw, which was the horses. This is your own horse, isn't mm -hmm. it? So it doesn't cost anything for no. you to choose that option. Well, I think we'd definitely go with Martine on the side saddle. Um, I don't think we can get away from that one. It's what she's always dreamed of as a mm. girl, I think. Next of all, we saw the tractor. It was quite noisy. It was a monster. Um, it was. Mm. I'm not so sure about that option. As you know, I was overwhelmed with the magnificence <laughs> of the horse box. I'd be quite happy to move in there today. Yeah. I'm not so sure about it as a means of transport for right. people. How about as a wet weather option? Well, yes, because we'd be taking the horse anyway. Next, we went to see the bikes. Yes. So that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I know Sandy had a great time on the resplendent <laughs> bike. So if we talk about the recumbent bike, that can obviously only carry one person. I Martin. think for Martine, yes. I think it's payback time for getting me to have to do this wedding for her. The next bike was the Lady Tandem. That's right, yes. It might be more suited to the boys than Martine. I think it would be a very, very interesting way mm. for them to arrive and different. And do you prefer that to the, the bike we saw after that, which was the, the triple bike? Whether they would pick up riding it quick enough... Um, because well, you quick. ladies were pretty good. We managed, didn't we? Although we did wobble. I do like that option as well. So what's the final decision then? Practically taking the horse box with the horse, right. with the tandem, Jay and Simon could arrive in Simon's car. Jay will see the horse box and then think he's going by horse. And then we'll get the bike hat and realise he's actually yeah. going by tandem. Well done, I think that's a fabulous choice and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works on the day. I knew they'd go with the horse, it's so elegant and Martine will look amazing arriving side saddle on her big day. Over in Surrey, I think I already know what they'll go for, but I wonder if I'll be right. Right wedding team, it's decision time. Oh. Which <laughs> wedding car are we going to choose for Katie and Jeff? Everyone, I think, says we've got to oh, have no, that Bella. Yeah, just a unique car that came up in... Oh. Special, isn't it? Really? Yes. Yeah. Together, so special, nothing. yeah. Thanks to Emily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emily's done it again. <laughs> and what have you guys think of the oh, chauffeur? He's lovely. lovely. Oh. Robbie Coltrane, look alike. Kate does like to, she's a Leo, she likes to be seen. I mean, people have seen horses and cars, but you've yeah. never seen a car like That's that. That's right. Yeah. That is a one off. And you haven't yeah. seen a bride arriving in a car no. like that, so it's really yeah. unique. Yeah. Well done, guys. We have our wedding car. Katie is going to love this car. I'm even thinking of hiring it for my next birthday. So with two choices made, it's over to London to get the final decision. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It was. I yeah. really enjoyed it. Actually, can we go around again? Yeah. <laughs> there are two options on the table to talk about. First was the rickshaw ride. So that was really good fun. They had a rickshaw in the colours of 
yeah. Chickadilly and, and Ken's wedding colours. Oh, cool. That was the main selling point there. It was orange and really, it was an, it it's actually an antique. It had it. And how much did that come in at? Um, that's 160 and we get that for around three hours. And then, of course, the white wedding taxi, which I know you've also set your heart on, <laughs> convertible with flowers, which wouldn't cost any more. But that came in slightly more expensive, didn't it? Yeah, the white wedding cab would be 220 which I think is the only disadvantage. It's mm. obviously a great car. Yeah. Uh, I love the way the top comes off. I think Chickadilly would love it, yeah. but... I'm just a bit concerned that on our budget there's a big difference between 220 and 160. What do you guys think? I'm in love with the white taxi already. You're in love with the white taxi. That is the more expensive option. Yeah, it's more it beyond more what, what's been budgeted. Yeah. And so you will have to carve off money elsewhere. I like this, but you know, once it, we've got a budget, so 160 will have to be. So you're both definitely happy with the um, rickshaw? Yes. Yes. That's fine, yeah. So that's it. We've reached the chequered flag. We've seen some unique and very different transport ideas today, and I've had a lot of fun. Join me after the break when I meet bridal boutique owner and wedding expert Fleur Hagen to judge our team's performance. Before the break, our teams chose their wedding transport and they all had some really fun and different ideas. It's now time to judge how well they've done. Each episode, myself and Fleur Hagen, owner of Fleur Bridal in London, decide which team has performed the best and mark them out of 30. The team with the most points come the wedding day will win their couple a fantastic honeymoon. But don't worry, every couple will get a honeymoon. It just won't be as good as the top prize. So how will the judging go this time? So this week we're going to be talking transport. Okay. Now you don't sound too <laughs> enthusiastic, but don't worry. <laughs> it is actually a really, really interesting week. Okay, tell me why. <laughs> well, the teams have really excelled themselves. They haven't just gone for the obvious option. They've really thought out of the box on this one. That sounds great. Can't wait to see it. Let's have a look. Okay. So the Oxford team are quite lucky because they own their own horses. Ah. Martine, the bride, has always loved horses, and so it's been her dream to arrive at her wedding day on horseback her That's whole fantastic. life. What do you think of the horse idea? I think it's fabulous. I adore horses, so for me, I think it's a great idea. If they're both confident and comfortable with doing that, then I think, wow, very, very <laughs> cool. Now, I, I used to ride side saddle quite a lot as Did well, you? and it's quite hard. It can be quite hard to get on. Right. can look a little bit ungainly, so hopefully they won't be snapping her when she's doing that. No. Catch up with her once she's all in position. It looks so elegant. Look, she's wearing linen trousers and a top, but she still looks really elegant. Yeah. There. Now, just around the corner from the stables was one of their good family friends who has a tractor. Because it's a country-themed wedding, they thought it would go rather well. I think it's sweet. I think that tractor is very attractive for a tractor. I think it was quite a new one, so it's very exceptionally clean. Now, this is another option for the groom and best man to go to the wedding yeah. in. Yeah, I'm not loving that option. <laughs> it looks like a Winnebago. Why would you arrive to your wedding in a Winnebago? I love it. There, well, it means that you could have champagne with your closest friends on the way in. There's a fridge, there's a sofa. For the bride, as a wet weather option, that would be beautiful. It's awesome. Here's the family friend showing their collection of uh, antique bicycles. Oh look, can you imagine the groom with his groomsman sitting on the back of that? That's oh, a fantastic cool. idea. Maybe not the bride. <laughs> I think that's lovely. What great pictures as well. Mm. A really good idea. These bikes are just beautiful, aren't they? They yeah, are really sweet. So, Flair, what do you think about the bikes as an option in general as wedding transport? I think it's great for the boys. If you've got a lovely sunny day, I think that would be a really superb opportunity for photographs. So she's being made to go on the bike now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Sandy, but she is a real go-getter. She's fabulous. So those were the Oxford team's options. What did you think? I thought they were fabulous. I love the bike and I love the idea of the bride arriving on the horse, which is her real passion and it's mm. what she really wants to do. So you'll have to tell me what they went for. Well, I think you're going to be very pleased because they decided to go with Martine arriving on her horse oh. and then the boys are arriving on the tandem. Are they? <laughs> Fantastic. I think they too will be driven to the horse box and then they'll wheel out the tandem. Great. Should we have a look at the next team? Let's. So, Fleur, if you were having a London wedding, would that be one of your options? Oh, I think it's a lovely idea. I love white taxis um, for weddings. I think they look great. And they've obviously done a lot of attention to detail. You know, they've got the mm. specialised number plate and the horseshoe on the front. It looks really good, It does. It? it looks very sweet. It kind of reminds me of Bugsy Malone, you know, when they go along in those cars. Yeah. So it's really sweet. 
So this is our second option for the London team, a rickshaw. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. It's just a method of transport from the bride's home to the church. I think it's about a mile and a half. But it is uphill. What the wedding planner has said is that should, if they go for this option, is get a blanket so that they can cover themselves up, keep warm, and it will stop any rain from going on the dress. This rickshaw is really unique. I think it's the only one in the country. It does stand out from all the others. It looks yeah. really fantastic. I think it looks really dramatic, and as you mm. said, if Chickadilly is, is the sort of person that really does want to have a feel of high drama and everybody looking at her, then yeah. I think that's fabulous. I think the only thing that makes me nervous is the weather because regardless mm. of plastic etc you know you're very very open there now moving on to the Surrey team now the Surrey team have a bit of a difficulty here because they've put zero pounds towards their budget Emily the wedding planner came to the rescue and this is what she found oh wow it's so cool it's isn't so it? cool I love it and look at the driver. I love him. <laughs> the mother of the bride there was virtually in tears yes yeah, she, she can so see she's happy. really emotional Emily really pulled this one out of the bag. She did really, really well. She really did. Flair, how would you feel about turning up in a pink car? I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want one just to turn up anywhere in a pink car. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Emily found a second option, and this option was also free. As you can see, it's a more of a traditional classic car. I think it's a Rolls Royce. It is a Rolls, yeah. So she was suggesting that that could be used for the bridesmaids or the mother of the bride. So, Fleur, what did you think? Well, like you said, I completely changed my mind about transport. <laughs> Suddenly it's become extraordinarily interesting. Yes. And um, they've all done really, really well and really, really kind of raised their game. So it's great. It's going to be quite hard to mark. So it's judging time. Yes. Let's talk about the Oxford team first of all. They've got the horse for the bride and the lady back tandem for the groom and the best man. I think they're great. Mm. Two great options. And plus, they also have the backup that if, if it is pouring with rain, they've got the horse box for her to... They really need to get a 10 from me, actually. For practicability, mm. I'm going to give them 9, so that gives them 9.5 out of 10. How about creativity? I'm going to just have to give them a 10. I just think they've done brilliantly. And there's so many different things that they could do, and they've chosen great backup options, and everything for me just works really well. So I think they've really earned their 10. I agree with you. They've got to get 10 out of 10 they for have that. To. Money saved. Now, they have really excelled themselves <laughs> on this one. They've spent zero pounds. So I think we can give them 10 out of 10. I have to agree. So the Oxford team have got a whopping 29 and a half out of 30. Fantastic. So London have gone for that fabulous rickshaw covered in fruit that will really go with the theme of their wedding. I think it's a great idea, but I am very nervous about <laughs> our British weather. They don't have a backup, do they? I don't think they do. So they could be arriving in a mini cab if it's actually lashing it down with rain. <laughs> and the fact that they have that huge hill, mm. they're only going to score 5 out of 10 from me. I think I'm going to have to agree. I quite like it as an option. I think she's really thought about what sort of rickshaw would fit with the theme of their wedding. So I'm going to give them 8 out of 10 for creativity. I'm going to give them 7. OK, so we'll agree on 7.5? 7.5. It's going to cost them £195 for that rickshaw and then £2.50 for a blanket. For me, they're just throwing that money away because they don't have a backup plan. I'm going to give them 4 out of 10. I'm going to give them 6 out of 10, which gives them 5 out of 10 overall. On the plus side, I think Rebecca's found a really good option that Chickadilly is going to love and is going to look fabulous in their wedding photos. So moving on to the Surrey team, they had that brilliant pink car. With the roof down, perhaps it's not the most practical option, but it does have a roof they can put up. So they'll just have to decide, bearing in mind the weather on the day, I think. Which is, you know, not a, not a drama at all. I don't, yeah. I don't even think that's going to be a problem. You know, it's either up or, or it's down, at yeah. least they have that as a backup. So I'm going to score them quite highly. I think they deserve 9.5 out of 10. I agree. I'm going to go with 9.5 out of 10. For creativity, well, Emily's been able to find this car for free by looking to her friends who have nice cars and asking them. I think it's a really good idea. So I think they deserve 9 out of 10 for creativity. What do you think? Definitely 9 out of 10. Then money saved, they spent a whopping £5.20 on this one for the ribbon. We're going to have to be quite harsh with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've done really well because the team normally spend an awful lot of money on things and so £5.20 is perfect. So I think we need to give them 10 out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. So the Surrey team this week will get 28.5 out of 30. Great score.
Well done, Surrey. Well done, Surrey. So the winners this week are the Oxford team with a almost unbeatable 29 and a half out of 30. Yeah, they, they got it this week. It was just perfect. They mm. did so well. So after a week of trains, planes and automobiles, well, at least one of those three, the scores look like this. After being in joint first last week, the London team has now dropped to third with 146 points. For the first time this series, the Surrey team have managed to climb off the bottom and have moved into second with 146 and a half points. Which means in first place is the team from Oxfordshire with 158 points. With only three weeks left until the wedding, can Oxfordshire hold on or will Surrey continue their rise and get to that top spot? Join us next time as we get creative looking at the wedding favours. See you then.